Hey guys, Balkan Architect here. I was just scrolling through Pinterest looking at some cool images of architecture and I came across this cool looking woven facade. And it's instead of just fabric, it's made out of wood or I'm going to guess it's probably made out of some composite material that looks like wood and I thought it would be a cool challenge to model something like this in Revit. It's great, it just looks great and it also protects your facade from the sun. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and this is just some old project. This is actually the first project I ever did in Revit architecture. And here we have this large glass facade on this home and I want to protect it from the sun and let's use our woven facade. So I'm going to be modeling it as a component in place or an in place component or a family. So I'm just going to go here to architecture tab, component, open up the drop menu and go model in place. Open that up, let's just cancel out of this and let's go into generic models. I usually characterize everything as generic models because this really isn't going to be a complex project where I have to kind of categorize everything correctly. Okay, so here I am in model in place family. So let's just go into level one. This is the level on which this will be starting this facade. And let's add some reference planes to help us work. So I'm just going to go here to reference plane or RP is the shortcut. And I'm just going to start off from this wall and create a line that's perpendicular to this wall or a reference plane and just place it like so. Then I'm going to go again a reference plane and I'm going to use this pick lines tool and I'm going to give it an offset of 100 which is 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters so I'm just going to place it like so. So we have to have these two reference planes. Now again I'm going to go into reference plane and place one over here just parallel with the wall, select it, go create similar so just CS which is just same as starting the command again and do this pick lines tool and I'm going to offset it by 600 millimeters or 60 centimeters and this will be the increment of our curve in this woven pattern. Wo wove pattern? Woven. Then, okay. So I'm just going to do a bunch of these and now when I have a few of them I can select them and just go into copy select multiple and then I can just do this a lot quicker. And we're going to stop the facade here where the house ends. So let's just finish it off like this. Okay, so we have kind of a, a few reference planes that are going to help us. We're going to use them just kind of a as a sketch. So let's go now into create and let's choose extrusion because this will be built as a series of extrusions. And I'm going to just use these lines and let's place one over here like so. Place one over here and one over here. And as you can see our reference planes are already helping us. Now I'm going to go to the arc tool and start end radius arc. That is this one. So you start off from here, go to here, extend it to this side. Then you go from here to here and extend it to this side. So you're just going to from middle to middle and kind of touching these reference planes. So once I already have two of these I can go into pick lines and give it an offset of 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter and let's offset it outwards like this and now let's just fix these these ends over here so just pull that in and extend this out. Okay so when we have one curve like this I can select both of these go copy and just select this part and then move it over here. Just make sure that multiple is selected so you can kind of copy multiple or more of them at a time. So you kind of just keep going. Is this correct? Yeah. And you just copy it all the way to the end. Okay. And here you just need to check it out. And as you can see here, we kind of have this little gap so make sure you fix it wherever you see it here it is here again 
Okay, we don't have it here. Okay, now you need to delete all of these elements, these lines that we use just to help us finish off. And let's just close this up on this end and do the same thing on the other end. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, so once you've completed this, you need to edit this extrusion start end and let's let's leave it at 250. I think this is okay. And now we, let's go into 3D and this is what we have. Okay, now we need to multiply these elements. So I'm just going to select one of these, go into some elevation. Let's just choose south elevation. And here we have it. And now I'll just go into copy, make sure to hit this constraint or basically to unconstrain it. Just select it, go up and then type in a number. So I'm just going to go with 600 here for this copy val value. And you just copy it all the way to the top of the building. And it's okay, this is kind of embedded in roof, but that doesn't really matter. So we have all of these horizontal elements. Now let's work with the vertical elements. So again, I'm going to go back here into level one. And let's place a reference plane over here. So I'm just going to go reference plane or RP is the shortcut. And let's place one here in the middle. So kind of place it like that, extend it a little bit. And this one we're actually going to name. So let's name it vertical. Okay, so now once we have this reference plane named, I'm just going to go here into the section. And as you can see, the section is here. And even though our reference plane is behind the section, that doesn't really matter. We can still work on this reference plane. So let's just go to section and here we go. So this is what we have. And let's just start modeling the vertical elements. So go create extrusion and you go by name for the work plane and you select it here, vertical reference plane, go OK. And here we go. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find kind of the center point of this. And that's sometimes hard to do. And if you can't, you just go all the way from up to down like this. Then you find the center one. And you do the same thing here. Okay, here we can select it like this. And then you connect these two. And then you can, let's just leave these like that. And then you can find the center point of this line, because we need to find the center of between these two elements. And here it is, it's over here. So we have this center point. So I can just go copy and go from here to here. And go up like this. Okay, so we have a couple of these. So now I can delete all of these lines. I don't really need them. I only need these three. And again, we're going to be using the arc. So just go like this to one side, then go up to the other side and leave it at that. Then go just offset 10 millimeters or one centimeter and place it like so. Now, just by using here, selecting this and connecting this just to make sure everything is even. Okay. And extend this a little bit. Okay. Now you just select these two. And again, you go copy, make sure multiple is selected and you go up. So let's do this one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And here we don't really need this element and just all the way down here, I can just select this element and just go copy and let's copy it from here to here. Okay, now we're going all the way down. So I'm just going to use pick lines, choose this line, this line as well. And then I can use trim and extend to trim this in place. Do the same thing down here, trim and extend, trim this in place. And let's just delete these two or these three lines because we don't need them. And let's just go finish. Okay, again, we have this warning popping up. So just go continue. And here, yeah, these parts are not connected. So you have to check sometimes you leave a bunch of these. Okay, let's try finish now. Okay, it's finished. Now let's go into 3D. And this doesn't look right. Let me turn off shadows for a second. Oh, I can't do it here. Okay, never mind. So as you can see, this just isn't fitting in place correctly. So how do you fix this? 
So the first thing we need to do is we need to flip these. So one should be going on one side and the other one should be mirrored. So this one should be going up, this down. And how do you do that? So you just go here, you select these every second one, like so. You go into level one and you go mirror and use this draw mirror tool and you mirror them around this center axis. Axes. I don't know. Okay, and now it's mirrored, but as you can see, it kind of copied everything, so I kind of messed up. I didn't select the un uncheck the copy button, so I need to delete all of these and here this one as well. So just hit delete. And as you can see now, it's kind of a woven pattern over here and we need to do the same thing with this but first as you can see here it's going extrusion end at 250 but we needed to kind of go from the center of the reference plane so i'm just going to type in here minus 125 and here 125 and as you can see now it kind of centered itself so i'm going to go back into level one and just go copy and select this point and unconstrain it of course and ju let's just move it all the way to the other sides. Ju just copy all of them. Okay, so now once we have all of these, let's go into 3D. And now I'm just going to select this one, this one, everyone that's kind of messed up or on the wrong side. So this one, this one, this one, here and here. So every second one, go back into level one, use draw mirror or DM is the shortcut. And now I'm not going to mess up. So I'm going to uncheck this copy, go here, find the center point, kind of pull out the line like this and make sure you flip it around. Okay. And now it looks perfect. It's a, the exact woven facade we see, saw on that picture. So I'm just going to select all of this and give it the wood material. Here we have wood. Okay, let's just go finish model. And let's just go into one of these 3D views. Yeah, this one looks nice. Let's perhaps extend it a little bit. Yeah, this looks good. And let's try rendering this. So I'm just going to type double R for render, hit render and let's see what we get and there you go we have our woven facade in revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day